I want to hear a little bit about your Homestar Runner fandom. Do you remember the first Homestar Runner cartoon that you ever saw? Well, uh, probably the first one I saw was First Time Here because uh, <laughs> it, it, it's designed for that. Uh, I remember <laughs> first becoming aware of Homestar uh, just on some forum I was hanging out on, someone linked to it. The problem is I am a binger by nature, so I like to <laughs> go back to the beginning and start from the top of things. And as your podcast demonstrates, it's neither the easiest nor the most recommended way to get into Homestar Runner. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't until about spring of 2003 or so that uh, a friend of mine just sat me down and said, okay, these are the ones you need to watch. Like, you start with first time here, and then he shows like his <laughs> 10 favorite speed emails. I don't remember which ones they were. And it was basically a case of, you know, you need a curator to tell you, okay, once you watch the 10 or 20 tunes that I know you will <laughs> like, once you get sort of the rhythm of it, then you can go back and watch any of them and be on board. Do you have a favorite Homestar Runner cartoon. Well, it is tough to narrow down. I was about to say, didn't you say you have videos about what your favorites are? So you like already have an answer ready to go? As a matter of fact, I do have videos <laughs> where I have uh, ranked within specific categories. So oh, for instance, okay. I am on the record that my favorite strong bad email is virus because that is fantastic. One choice. of the greatest things ever, ever created. I've also ranked my favorite teen girl squads or my favorite holiday tunes uh in terms of just uncategorized tune <laughs> i always come back to the strong bad is in jail cartoon that is one i get a lot of mm. enjoyment out of i don't think i've seen that one it's a good it, one it is a, it's a good one it'll it'll probably be a while before you get to it on the pod but it is uh <laughs> i think my favorite thing in the homestar runner universe is the game Peasant's Quest. Oh, because, yes. Uh, the the fact that they made a full King's Quest parody game that is exactly as in-depth as like the first two King's Quest games, <laughs> it's yeah. such an achievement. It hits such a specific nostalgia trigger for me when it came <laughs> out because growing up with hand-me-down computers, we played a lot of old computer games. Mm -hmm. So uh, I uh, my brother and I were big into King's Quest and to play basically a King's Quest game, but in the Homestar sense of humor. It was like, this is created just for us. <laughs> and uh, at, at a certain point, my brother and I realized that part of the reason Homestar as a whole resonated with us so much is that so much of it is two brothers just cracking each other up with inside jokes yeah. and putting it into their work. And that's what we like to do. So yeah, I and I love that you you chose a game because it's it's good to remember that Homestar Runner is a is a multimedia extravaganza with with cartoons and and music and and board games. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go down the list of like the, what the menu would be like and tunes and oh, yeah. games and <laughs> characters, characters and, and, and board downloads. games though. <laughs> Don't, don't forget about the Trogdor board game, which is super duper fun. Uh, all I can say is I'm sad that there is no Homestar theme park attraction yet, but that may be the subject of a future armchair Imagineering down the line someday. Oh, there you go. There you go. Ooh, I mean, we already know what the that. Strong Bad Jungle Cruise would look like. So Yes, yes. We're on our way. I don't know who it is, but it probably is for Hogwa guys. I asked my friend Joe, I asked my friend Jake. They said it was for Hogwa guys. I said, come on for Hogwa guys. I said, come on for Hogwa guys.